Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike Pana. I'm the moderator in the series of videos that is all about Persian rugs and it's an extension of our website at mprugs.com. Since we specialize in high quality Persian rugs, um, one of the things that we feature and that's typically reserved for high-end Persian rugs are the pictorial pieces. Like in the case here, we have a whole bunch of fine Tabriz Persian rugs. And I made already a couple of videos where I talked about the framing of rugs, where, we, where I talked about how we hang them on walls and everything. And I've had so many people making suggestions and comments that I thought I'd follow up those videos and show you different examples. We have a whole bunch of framed Persian rugs. This is what you would typically find oftentimes in the homes of Persian families or if you go to Persian stores, whether it's Persian food grocery stores, restaurants, any type of a, uh, any type of a place where there are Persian people you will oftentimes see fine Persian rugs that are hanging on walls and oftentimes they are framed. Now, in the previous videos, I talked about how, for example, most of the Persian rugs, when we talk about having them framed, we use nails. As I'm gonna show you, as I can show you right here, we have a very high quality Tabriz rug. This right here was actually featured in one of my videos. And you can actually, this is a 50 rug silk foundation, but we have small nails that have been put into the side of the pile. Knowing that once the rug has been framed, it's basically going to be hung on the wall for many, many years to come. This is a very traditional, it's a standard procedure. I've had some clients who have called me on it, who have emailed me and said, Mike, you know what, there has got to be better ways of dealing with the hanging and framing of Persian rugs. But I just want you to know, I'm going to be showing you uh, five or six framed Persian rugs. These are all high quality Tabriz Persian rugs. Somehow the 50 rugs with a cotton foundation, like in the case right here. We have a Renaissance picture. This is a Tabriz 50 rug, a cotton foundation. And when I flip this around, um, this also has been Actually, in this case, they use staples. They stapled the rug. Generally speaking, it's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, some people make a big deal about it, but honest to God, we're in the rug business, and if you look, go any place that has, like I said, go to a Persian rug store, go to a Persian grocery store, go to a Persian restaurant, chances are, they are going to have beautiful Persian rugs that are framed. If you look on the back, you'll see that they do it the easy way, which is using nails. Now, if you have one of those great ideas on how you can do it without the use of nails, go for it. I have other videos where I show about framing beautiful rugs, especially the silk rugs without the use of nails but in this video i just wanted to briefly show you several framed pictorial persian rugs because i typically do not offer them for sale and that is simply due to the high shipping cost it does not make sense when you let's say you buy a rug for a thousand dollars or for maybe fifteen hundred dollars and then you have to pay huge amounts of additional shipping charges because of the frame. 
Um, and just to give you an example, before I show you the different example, like I said, these are all rugs. Some of them I have in my website, but I always make it a point of letting my clients know that they're getting the rugs without the frame. I always tell my clients, I'm not about to. I've done it once. It was a nightmare. I will not do it again. I'm just got a couple of pieces here that I'm going to show you as an example. This is a Hebrew greeting. This is something that I've had uh, many of my clients have purchased these, or sometimes I give them away as special gifts to some of my uh, very special clients and friends and family. And oftentimes this would be something that, uh, this is a type of uh, Persian rug. Again, this is a Tabriz silk foundation. This would be framed and hung above a door. The idea is that basically it blesses the person that walks through the door, underneath the door, or through the door actually. And so this is a very, this is a great example of what we do. We take a high quality Tabriz rug and we frame it. Another example, we have the Last Supper. And this is again, this is a very classic example this is a very high-end 60 rug. this is actually a 65 rug tabriz persian rug silk foundation of course and this would be also a perfect candidate for framing so i just wanted to show you you can frame any rug now when you talk about wooden frames what i do strongly suggest is that you do not frame pure silk rugs. If you are going to frame pure silk rugs, their thickness of the pile, they tend to loosen up. And then the rug, I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about in a minute here, um, where a rug over time, it just lost its tightness, so to speak. Here you have a frame. I showed you this one. This was a video that I, um, this is a framed Tabriz Persian rug. I featured it in some of my other videos. I'm going to put this aside real quick. Let's go on to the next. Here we have a large Renaissance piece. Again, the difference between that and the previous one with the animals, this is a 50 rug Tabriz rug. Gorgeous piece really nice but you can see even after years of being framed it keeps its tightness it's a great way to go this is just not like i said these are just examples of persian rugs and i do have to apologize there we go here we have and this is another 50 rug but here's what I'm talking about. You notice how it's wobbly? Um, sometimes, in this case, they simply didn't attach it well enough. So they have staples going along the side but in the top, but they decided to go cheap and they did not put a whole lot of staples in the bottom. As a result, you have this loose, and this is something that happens also sometimes with pure silk rugs. Now, one of the questions that I oftentimes get from my clients is what is the big deal about the fact that most pictorials tend to be Tabriz rugs? And the reason for being is that the wool the Tabriz, in the Tabriz region, the Tabriz rugs are made with the largest variety of colors. I'm going to show you an example later on when we, I'll show you the Isfahan rug. You will rarely ever, other than Gom rugs and Tabriz rugs, those are the two types of Persian rugs that have the largest selection of colors. Those are needed to make beautiful pictorial rugs. It's kind of hard to make a painting when you only have 10 shades to deal with. If you only got 10 colors, you're going to have a hard time painting unless you, it becomes repetitive. 
So you notice here, these are all top resorts, everything I've shown you, but you notice how they're all different colors. That is made possible due to the fact that in the Tabriz region, Azerbaijan and in Gom, these are renowned for using multitude of colors and that allows them to make these types of pictorials. Now, being that the pure silk Gom rug weavers like I said, when it talks about the gold rugs, we're talking about pure silk. But, um, and those are typically not framed. Most framed high quality Persian rugs tend to be made from Tabriz. But here's an example of an Isfahan. This is a framed Isfahan rug. Now you will notice the colors if you are familiar with Persian rugs you will instantly notice the shades of blues and reds. This is very classic Isfahan. The problem with the Isfahan is once you've seen a few of them, you have seen them all. So every once in a while when we find a gorgeous piece like this, it becomes more of a novelty. Again, this is why most of the pictorial Persian rugs tend to be Tabriz. I just thought I'd just uh, throw this one in for you. And lastly, again, we have another piece. And you can see the shades of greens and browns and the olive green. This is very traditional, very um, common amongst Tabriz rugs. Not so common in other types of Persian rugs. So there you go. This is, um, hopefully it's going to help answer some of the other questions that I've had about the framing of Persian rugs, about the different types. I've had folks asking me questions about uh, whether we carry, we have a large selection of pictorial rugs, but because they are framed, as I mentioned to you, I'm not a big fan of shipping them. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Feel, uh, visit us at our website at mprugs.com or subscribe to our channel as we're going to be continuously adding videos all about Persian rugs. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Best wishes to you. Take care. Bye-bye.